Changing colors is one of the most commonly used technique in jewelry design. Simply by changing colors, you can render different types of metal like yellow gold to rose gold and silver. Also, you can render different types of gemstone options. In this video, I will show you how you can easily do that with Procreate. I'm Ua and I'm sharing some tips for jewelry design. Hope you guys like this video. Okay, let's get going. I'm opening the Procreate app in my iPad. If you missed the video of how I designed and drew this ring, you can find it in my channel. As you can see, this rendering is combined with different layers. In order to change colors, it's better to combine layers by material. However, I will keep the original file intact for later use. So I will duplicate files for different color options. Simply by swiping files, you can duplicate it. Then I rename this to rose gold. I will change this to rose gold and pink stone. And I will duplicate the file one more time, change the name to silver. I will make this one to silver with blue stone. Hit the second file. Open layers. I will merge layers by material. You can pinch these together from top to bottom. I will leave shadow as a separate layer. There are yellow gold layers above the gemstone as well. This M means this layer is multiply mode. Merging layers of same mode is no issue. Hit the layer, then merge down. However, if you merge top normal layer with below multiply layer, the combined rare will become multiply mode and getting dark like these prone tips if you want to see why i made it as multiply mode please see my previous video so i will cancel the merging and leave them as they are we don't need this original sketch layer anymore so i delete it make sure you select the layer that you want to change color hit adjustment button Hit Hue Saturation Brightness option. Simply by sliding this handle left and right, you can easily change the color. I move it to be more pinkish and stop when it looks close to pink gold. I repeat the same process to other layers of gold. Now, I think it looks close enough to look like rose gold. Rose gold comes in different tones based on its alloy. So you can render to be the color you want. Now, I will change the gemstone color. If I use the same tool, we can see it doesn't really work. This is because this stone has almost no hue or saturation. Even though I increase the saturation, it still doesn't work. So we need to try some different technique. Make sure you select the layer with gemstone. Hit the selection tool. Make sure automatic button is highlighted. This is like a magic wand in Photoshop. It selects similar range of colors. Hit wherever else than the stone, it will select the blank space except the stone. Hit invert. Now the stone area is selected. Add a new layer above the gemstone layer, then find the color you want to change it to. Click and drag color in, 
Now we have additional layer with color on top of gemstone layer. Now change the layers blending mode to color. At this point, it became so easy to change the hue. By playing with this hue, you can try different types of gemstone. I will stop somewhere close to orangish pink. To me, the contrast inside of the stone is a little too much. So I select the original stone layer, hit curve. By moving this curve, you can adjust contrast. I decreased the highlight and brightened the overall tone. Now here is rose gold with pink gemstone ring is rendered. I actually want to increase the contrast in metal part a little bit. This one is done, and I'll do silver and blue stone next. Go back to the gallery and find the duplicated file I renamed as silver. Again, merging these layers by material. Remove unnecessary layer and merge down gold layers above the gemstone. Select the ring shank layer, hit the adjustment, hue saturation brightness function. Move this to left so it loses its saturation. I also want to brighten the metal color so I can use curve tool again. Then we can do the same for the rest of yellow gold part. Making something to black and white is so easy with this tool. The metal part looks like silver or platinum. Now select the gemstone layer. Hit the selection tool. Make sure automatic button is highlighted below and hit the blank space. Invert the selection. Select the color you want, which is blue for aquamarine for me, then click and drag into the gemstone area. Oops, this happens because I forgot to create an additional layer. So I undo this, create a new layer above the gemstone, then dump the paint bucket here. Then I should change the layer blending mode to color. Ta-da! It looks good to me. Should I try different types of gemstone? Emerald, peridot, citrine, amethyst, well, I want to stick to aquamarine for now. Again, I think the contrast is too high, so decrease the contrast by using curve. Making it a little paler and brighter. I think that's it. When you go back to gallery, 
Now there are three different color options of renderings. The best thing is I kept the original file with layers without merging. So even later, if any design change is needed, it will be easier to be made by needed layers only. I was supposed to make a video of actually making this ring into real life, but because of COVID shutdown, I cannot go out to meet casting company or stone supplier. In the meantime, I wanted to update videos with some useful techniques. Hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.